Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about creatinine, BUN, and GFR. I'm making this video for anybody that is new to dealing with kidney disease. You're gonna hear these terms a lot from your nephrologist, from your nurses, because these are all critical tests to anybody that is dealing with kidney disease. So without further ado, I wanna quickly introduce myself for anybody that is new here. My name is Cindy Flores, and on my channel, I share my kidney transplant journey, as well as testimony, travel vlogs, and so much more. So if you are new, consider subscribing. Also, if you guys find this video helpful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I could definitely do more kidney-related terminology videos for you guys, so let's begin. So when we think about kidney disease, for me personally, I always think about creatinine. What level is your creatinine at? So creatinine is the waste product that comes from normal wear and tear of your muscles in the body. So the normal range for somebody that is healthy, for a woman, it's usually 0.6 to 1.1. And for a man, it's 0.7 through 1.3. This all varies depending if you are dealing with kidney disease. When you are dealing with kidney disease, your creatinine does increase and mine went up to 13, I believe, when I was on dialysis, I had a very high creatinine, 13. Now that I have my transplant, my creatinine usually stays between 0.8 and the highest it's ever gotten was 0.9. Now let's talk about BUN. BUN stands for blood urea nitrogen. What this is, is the normal waste in your blood that comes from the breakdown of protein from what you eat and also from your metabolism. A normal BUN usually ranges from seven to 20 milligrams per deciliter. Now let's talk about GFR. GFR stands for glomerular filtration rate. And this tells you how much kidney function you have. A normal range is usually anything higher than 90%, but this can also change for anybody that is usually over the age of 60 because naturally as you begin to age, your kidney function will begin to decrease. So as you get older, usually around 60 and up, you can have like a lower GFR, but does not mean that you have like kidney disease. It could just be that you are aging and your function is decreasing, if that makes sense. I'm gonna put a little chart right here so you guys can kind of see the different stages of kidney disease and what a healthy GFR is and what is considered like kidney disease. So you guys can visualize it if that makes sense. When I started dialysis, my GFR, I believe, was at like a 7 or 8%. It was super low. Um, when I found out that I needed to start dialysis, I was already on end-stage kidney disease. We started emergency dialysis, but that's not always the case with everyone. Some people usually find out that they have kidney disease when they're on stage 3 or stage 2, and they have a little bit of time to think about their treatment options. So those are the three terms that you are always basically going to hear from your doctors when dealing with kidney disease or even with anybody that's healthy, it's always important to do kidney checks or regular physical checks or just any type of checks on your body because your body can be very sneaky and it can flip on you in a blink of an eye. So it's always important to take very good care of your health. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you guys found it informative. Have a blessed and beautiful day and I'll see you in my next video.